Today is June 24, 2023. We're impromptu. This is a little sub podcast, and you got being in the back playing some bullshit ass game. I don't know what the fuck it is, but he just going with it. So let's get it. Also, people who are waiting for me to play um on the PlayStation 4, I'll be on there impromptu or impromptu. Well, and do it. It's 9:26 p.m. and I was just mowing the lawn. Um, I broke my little sobriety break and I took a couple shots before I went out there and mowed the lawn. Um, I seen some snakes out there on the road, ran over, <coughs> excuse me, and Bean has been running over, uh, fuck knows if he, what the fuck he ran over. I remember he ran over a squirrel before. So, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if, um, the audio is right. I'm not going to stay too long because I have to go to work tomorrow. So let's see how this this rumbles and rolls. Let's see. Let's see. The audio is right. I'm okay. Too okay, long. okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. It's me. And you see that I don't have to pee pee right now. Okay, so, so what I talked about. I took a couple shots mowed the lawn um i didn't get to the backyard because like i ran out of battery on my fucking shit because um like you know i use a what do you call it what do you call that thing a bean a bean bruh 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 what you call that shit we use to mow the lawn a weed whacker or is it like a um a corn a cor a corner cutter Well, it's it's something like that. It's a it's a corner cut or whatever the fuck. So um, it's just like a battery that goes into this uh long stick looking thing, and then you just put the stick where you want to cut shit. So I've been using that for the whole fucking lawn. I really don't have time, especially after when the gas was being like really expensive at one point. I was just like, yo, I'm not gonna. Especially I don't feel I don't feel right. Putting gas in something and then like transporting it to my home and then trying to find a way to store it and then like the gas was like really expensive at that time so you know I just bought like a battery operated uh weed whacker whatever the fuck so shout out to hearts I think that's what's called hertz so I, that's what I've been doing I've been cutting the whole lawn with this shit so hopefully that shit don't blow up it's it's charging right now so far so good and um I got the front yard and then I got the backyard um not all of it as soon as I was trying to finish like the little part of it by the little grill then that's when it ran out and I was real pissed off but you know it's all right. I can get to it to another time. That'll be the first thing I get to when the grass gets up again. Because obviously that's going to be the highest thing there. And then what scared me the most was that I saw like a little frog. And it was just hopping. I was like, what the fuck? You know, you guys know I'm a little bit scared of frogs. I don't like frogs. They look creepy as hell. They be looking at niggas and their eyes popping out their head and shit. I don't, I don't vibe with that. And then like they hopping and shit. I think that fear came from, um, well, when I'm lower in the country and I was at my aunt's house, like more by the coast. Like every time it would rain, like these giant fucking frogs would come out of nowhere. And um, sometimes they got ran over, you know, and. The, I don't know, I swear I heard a pop every time these fucking frogs got ran over and it just made me feel really sick to my stomach. So, like, now, like, every time I think about frogs, I just feel really nauseous. And then, plus, like, they hop at you. Like, they hop. So, I, I, I ain't built for that. But I let that frog go. You know, I went around them. And then something else I saw in the yard was, like, this nest. Um, well, we have the ant. Like, this ant hill. It used to be like a little bit smaller in the driveway, and then they decided, oh, well, we're going to make a bigger nest, and it's a little bit out of way of the driveway so we don't get ran over. So, of course, you know, I'm an asshole. I'm a human, so I run over the fucking anthill. That didn't really do much, so then next time I sped over the anthill, I made a big old dent in it, and but the other side is still there, so I was like, what the fuck? And this is the same day I buy chili, okay? So I had some Wendy's points. And, um, I bought some chili, okay? I, Wendy's chili is one of my favorite things. Shout out to Wings of Redemption. Um, 
I love wings, bitch. I love wings. I'm uh, not wings, not wings. What do I love? Chili. <laughs> Okay, I love chili. Man, I need to sober up because I got to go to work at 8.30 a.m. I'll be good, though. But, um, yeah. They, the chili is the best. So, um, I'll be getting, like, saltine crackers, sour cream, hot sauce, crunch that all shit up in my motherfucking chili. They didn't give me a spoon. And then, like, Bean had to go in and give me a spoon. And then he came back out. And then we was doing, like, driving lessons. So, an update on Bean and his driving lessons. He's doing really good so far. I'm not going to give him all the kudos, you know. Because you can always do better. Every time somebody says you can, you're can, doing good, you can do better. So, yeah, Bean, you can do better at your driving. But it's good. I let him drive to work. I let him drive back. It was good. We didn't die. Obviously, I'm still here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, Seuss. And um, so that's that on that. Uh, the ant hill, I was going to boil up some hot boiling water and then pour it on there. Um, and then my other thought was like putting some dish soap and hot boiling water and put it on there or just pour bleach in that motherfucker. I don't know. But every time I put salt and like bleach on the fucking, uh, on like the grass or yeah like these mushrooms pop up like these white mushrooms so I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And then I noticed that because like. I, I thought about, like, putting, like, salt by my door, like, the doors, like, so I, p I put salt by the door so, like, no bad energy doesn't come into the house and shit like that. And next thing I know, there's fucking mushrooms everywhere. So, what the fuck? So, anyways, I stopped doing that, but I need to start doing it again. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn mushrooms. I don't give a fuck. But then, like, I was mowing the lawn, and then, like, I was mowing the lawn, and, like, when I mowed over this fucking mushroom, like, it just sprouted all of its, uh, I guess that would be mushroom cum <laughs> spores all over the fucking yard, like, rust. And I was like, what the fuck? But, but, you know, it is what it is. I left that area alone, and I came back to it, did what I had to do. But my next thing I need to do is finish up that little piece in the backyard, and then come back and get those ants out of there. Why are these ants here? And then next thing I know, across from the ants is like where I feed Simon. And cool. and that's where the roaches oh, God, made yeah. like a pine straw fucking home. Like, sneaky. what the fuck? I didn't know roaches made hives or sneaky. whatever the fuck. So I'm just like, okay. Like, I walked over there and a whole bunch of roaches was running out of it. And I was like, what the fuck? And then one got on my arm and I was like, what the fuck? But I had a jacket on. So it is what it is. I'm going to get to it. But... I feel like the yard and the, you know, the yard and the garden is an extension of you. And yesterday, as you know, I uploaded a video about the, what do you call the Sago palm, Sago palm, whatever, Japanese palm. And, um, being found out what it was, because I thought it was a fern and like, but it had spikes on it. Like it felt so prehistoric, this plant. And then like, I had trimmed it down and all that. But then it ended up having a baby next to it. And what was funny is, like, somebody commented and they were like, uh, now who, like, who's the baby father, okay? Who the baby father that? Because, like, why? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought, like, the palm was going to, like, sprout little branches off of it, like, and keep growing. Oh, my God, this nigga here. And, um... It didn't. It just grew. Like, something grew next to it. And then I was like, okay. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have... We'll see how it goes in that little area right there. So, that's a little a little garden area there. And then, unfortunately, it's close to electricity by the house. So, I can't really fuck with it too much. Because I thought some vines over there were vines. But, really, it was like electricity cords with vines growing on it. And, I, you know, you don't want to chomp at that because like i had got some uh trimmers and i was cutting at it and, and being talking about oh those are wires and i'm like what the fuck so i'm gonna leave that alone so i'm kind of excited about that sago palm we're gonna get it grown we're gonna get it healthy and i've been saving up all these cherry seeds so I've been eating them, them overpriced cherries, been saving the seeds. I have a whole packet. I'm almost done with all the seeds, and then I'm going to throw them out in the yard. And we're going to see what happens. Uh, maybe I should just throw them all in the backyard. I don't know. But I'm just going to throw them around and see what happens. And if it takes root, hallelujah. 
But if it doesn't, I'm not mad. Hopefully a bird eats it and it'll be full for the day. I don't know. But I got a bunch of seeds. Thank God that fruits still have seeds in it because, like, lately a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables do not have seeds anymore. So I'm really happy about that. So that's a good thing. I'm eating real fruit. And um, what else I got to talk about? Uh, We have mozzarella sticks for lunch slash dinner because i'm still full i don't know if everybody else is still full but i'm full as fuck and surprisingly i'm still at 141 pounds um i thought would be higher because when i first started my period i was like 145 and i was like god dang i'm back to where i started with my weight loss journey but i'm 141 point something and um, i'm trying to get down 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 so hopefully it just drops after my period's over, but I'm kind of I'm I'm nervous about tomorrow because that's when I really start work. Um, hopefully, I do everything I need to do right. I do it better than everybody that's in there, and I can get home early. Um, and then I'll report to you about how my first day at work went. Oh, that'll be going good. But yeah, this is day 24 of being 28, and I'm excited. I guess. <laughs> So, what else? Also, I've been listening to the Tinfoil Hat Podcast. Y'all know what the fuck that is. Hold on, let me check the comments if there's comments. Oh, shit. Drunk, what the fuck? Mike, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Drunk, oh my god, are you still here? <laughs> okay, Drunk Sam. Wait till you cut the grass and you see a snake, okay? My cousin ran over a whole rabbit while cutting the grass. The aftermath of crazy shit. You start work tomorrow? Yes, nigga. I start work tomorrow. Okay, I look decent. Okay, I took a shower. Um, yeah, I start work. They want me to throw some packages tomorrow, okay? What the fuck I look like this for? I wasn't looking so fucked up before. Let me close the door. Hold up. Okay, let me read your comment. I swear I have the biggest forehead. I have the biggest forehead in the land. I swear I don't need a man. Shout out to Tito's. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm tipsy as fuck. Okay, let's see. Um, my cousin ran over a whole rabbit. That's fucked up. Um, work tomorrow? Yes, they want me to throw those uh fucking packages. And you know, I be in the sticks, nigga. These niggas got confederate flags and shit, nigga. Like, this is not somewhere you want to be caught when the sun go down, okay? They're gonna lynch your motherfucking ass. Lynch you, bitch. They're gonna fucking, they're gonna fucking get a motherfucking rope and then fucking put the rope against your motherfucking neck and then throw that shit against the fucking branch and fuck you up bitch and i'm not ready for that i'm not doing that i'm not doing it bitch like what would i do in that situation if a bitch had a motherfucking rope and was like bitch get your negro ass up on this motherfucking tree bitch i'm not going Bitch, I'm not going to, I would lay so fucking flat because that's what they told us. That's what they told us. Bitch, I'm fucked up. Okay, drunk. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Okay? But that's what they told us. Like, what's that, what's that, uh, that dog name? Scott McGruff. What's that dog name? McGruff the Crime Dog. Yeah, McGruff the Crime Dog. That nigga said lay flat as a motherfucking rock. And them motherfucking uh, predators and shit can't get you. Bitch, I'm going to lay flat as a motherfucking rock. Then you ain't going to get me. But I don't know what's going to happen. Like, what if two motherfucking motherfuckers just lift you up so they can lift you up with a fucking um rope and throw your ass up against a tree and lift your motherfucking ass? I ain't got time for it. Anyways, what the fuck am I talking about? Um, Yeah, I start work tomorrow. <laughs> Campbell's Chunky Chili is good, but it's expensive. I need to check that out. Um, I think I bought it, though. Some kind of chili. It's by, I think it's by Campbell's. I fucks with chili. This shit is good as a motherfucker. Uh, YouTube, this guy who poured this hot metal on an anthill's me I seen that, and then when he poured it out, it looked like uh, a Tetris or some shit like that. That shit go hard, but I feel so ethically wrong. When I fuck with an anthill, it's just like, damn, these niggas just minding their business. What the fuck am I doing, you know? Like, imagine to be an ant and you're just like, okay, we're near a food source. We're helping the queen and all that, you know? And then next thing you know, a motherfucker pour some hot ass shit in the goddamn 
house. That's like me sitting here right now and then some fucking hot lava come up on me. Like, this probably ant, an ant having a, a podcast right now. And then, like, this fucking hot metal just melts their fucking faces off. And then a motherfucker just picks it up and it's like, yo, look at this shit. Like, what a dick. What a dick. Okay, anyways. Wait, mushrooms grew in the house. You almost be on magical land. No, it just grew, it grew on the lawn. It grew on the lawn. It's just there's like a mushroom that looks like a, a hot dog. Not a hot dog. What it? Uh, 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 what do you call it? It's a mushroom. It looks like a hot. Uh, 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 what do you call the things that we eat? It's not a hot dog. The stereotypical American meal. Burger. Yes, a burger. <laughs> Like, it looks like a burger, and it grows outside on the lawn, and then if you throw salt on the yard, there's, like, little white mushrooms that grow. Okay, you said nothing that rids ants and roaches like cherries. Shit. I'm here. You don't actually sound drunk today. I didn't even know. Shit. I fucked up. Not really fucked up, because I need to sober the fuck up, so don't put that on me, bruh. I used to read the McGruff Crown comics. Eh. The ant hills like God walking outside and seeing earth in his driveway and what the fuck is stop stomping it. Yeah. Them ants they they weird as hell, man. These these ants, like what why why are you here? What I'm supposed to do? And then it's like my thing is like, okay, they be they be calm as fuck. They don't do nothing. But this moment the moment you touch it and then like a little bit of dirt fall off, these niggas was mobbing. Like these ants are different, like they follow you. People don't realize the ants follow you. And I'm just like, I'm not about to have that. I can't have that. So tomorrow, uh, whenever I get off of work, I'm going to boil up some uh, dish soap, fucking bleach, fucking pine salt, all the shit I got. And I'm dumping that shit on I'm dumping it on them niggas. I don't give a fuck. Fuck AI. Uh, wait, what? Fuck that. How you feel about work tomorrow? I feel good. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. What the fuck am I supposed to do, man? I cleaned my car out. I gassed up. So, I'm ready for tomorrow. I need to fill my tires up a little bit more. But I'm ready. I'm ready to take on a partial part of my job. And we'll see how that goes. And after that, I got to start doing more things. But I'm ready. Training ain't over yet, but it's it's alright. It's all good. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start getting this guap money because I need to put a gate in front of my yard. And did I tell you? I don't know if you were here. Like I was getting all kind of voicemails the other day. Niggas was talking about this is despicable, and I'm just like, what the fuck is you talking about? Despicable? Like I never heard no word like that. Like. Unless you're talking about despicable me with the minions and shit, nigga. I don't know what the fuck despicable me, nigga. That shit sound disgusting. Bunny gonna be getting that bunny bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banana bread. You mean banana bread? <sighs> I'm not even worried about that. I just want to get money so I can get towards my retirement. Because I don't want to be, like, old as fuck and still working. Like, that's the saddest thing ever. Like, to see old people working just people i don't really fuck with i'm sorry if they're looking at my shit now but like i don't fuck with you if you seeing this shit right now and i respond to you i don't go fuck about you i don't i don't want to hear about what the fuck you going through because chances are you just talking about yourself and like i know like i'm not the type to keep talking about myself like the only type time i sit here and talk about myself is when i'm doing like these little vlogs and shit but I'm the kind of nigga to be like, yo, like, what's going on in your life, yada, yada, yada. But after, after a certain point, it's just like, I really don't give a fuck what you're doing. I really don't give a fuck what you're going through. Bitch, you wouldn't ask me how I was doing today, so what the fuck I give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? And plus, I'm at work. Bitch, you on do not disturb. You on do not disturb, so stop disturbing me. So that's how I feel about that shit. For real, for real. For real, for real. Like, I'm not going to say who's who's, but it's just like, you know, if you hit me up and I ain't respond to you, shut the fuck up, man. You ain't talking about nothing important. Nothing. Nothing. Like, I'm supposed to sit here and listen to you talk about your life. Like, you somebody important. You not important, nigga. And speak about important people. I think I might. I might. I might. Hold up. Let me zoom in. I might. 
I might, 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 I might vote for RFK Jr., bitch. I might do it. If I, if I, I don't know, if Trump is not running, and I fucking doubt he gonna be in this motherfucker. I doubt it. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this nigga. I don't know if he going to jail. I don't know, like, what the fuck is going on. But if he's not in the running, I think I might vote for RFK Jr. I might do it. I'm sorry. Like, this nigga's talking about all the shit I'm talking about. This nigga talking about conspiracy theories and shit. Okay. Okay. That's who, that's who the fuck I'm voting for on God. Like, okay. But you already know what happens to, to people who are official as fuck. Caucasian. <laughs> official as fuck. Caucasian talking about what the fuck what the fuck is going on you say you voting for a bean a a a bean you gotta vote you running this nigga can't vote for another nine years what is it nine he's 26 you gotta run at 25. Who the fuck gives a fuck? Anyway, shout out to Tito's, bitch. If you're under the age of 21, don't even fucking look over here. If you're a child, get the fuck on. This is how much that shit costs you. Can you see that price tag? Okay. That's all I had, okay? I've been taking little shots, man. But this shit gonna last me at least till the end of the month. But I'm only I'm only drinking this shit to mow the lawn. Like, that's it. Like, I had to be out there. I had to be fuck up the mode, mode of lawn. Over here talking about fucking so snakes and like shit. Million. Roaches and ants. Oh, Bitch, yeah. fuck you. I was I was oh, zooming wow. through these niggas like nothing. Cutting through these niggas like butter. If a white man gonna win, might as well be somebody I know. I know that's right. <laughs> okay. Minus well. Minus well. M I N U S. Well, bitch, because this thing is talking about all the shit we talking about. Joe Rogan talking about he talking about talking to this doctor. Okay, shout out to this fucking um this fucking yeah, shit I got here. I this I had this shit for a minute, but I wasn't picking my hair. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do with my hair, it's been like two months or whatever the fuck. I think I'm just gonna do Afro puff this motherfucker, or might get dreads this time. And if I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm tired of fucking just sitting there with just hair on your fucking head. Get a fucking haircut. Shit, it's too hot to be sitting there with shit on your fucking head. Shit. But that's how I'm feeling about that shit. My mini mic. Thank you, Addison. Wavy waves. You said you had to pick with the fist. Yeah, I got that shit from a Chinese fucking... uh. Whatever the fuck you call it. In here. Whatever the fuck you call that shit. What is it called? A beauty supply store? Them niggas kill right. your ass. <laughs> that shit wait, lasts way longer when you drink straight out the bottle. Nah, I can't do that now. I can't sip out no bottle, man. I'm like, let me show you what I'm sipping out of. Oh, shit. This little cup. About eye sized. I fill it up to that line right here. Chug it back. I do one line with you. And then shout out to uh, Coke Zero. Yeah, shout out to Coke Zero. Fuck Coke. Um, you didn't put me on nothing. Coke. Uh, Coke. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call that shit? What's the other Coke? Diet Coke. Diet Coke. That shit made me get hyper as hell. But like when you have like that fake sugar and then you mix it up with liquor and shit, that shit made me throw the fuck up. I don't know. What if you start brushing and got waves? I don't know. I have like a wave brush that go like, and then you get waves and shit. But I ain't got time for that. Like, that's so old. Like, that's so 2010, whatever the fuck, add a number. Like, fuck it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. It is what it is. I got some nappy ass hair. Bitch, I'm black. Like, the fuck? Like, the whole natural hair movement, that shit got infiltrated as fuck. Next thing you know, like, we talking about nigga naps. And next thing you know, bitches is coming through with, with shit just... People think when they cut their hair, their shit is just gonna go, like... 
like fucking Cinderella or some shit. No, it's not. You got nigga naps, man. Get the fuck on. Waves is 2010. The natural hair movie 2000. This is what it is. And then I'm thinking like, do I want to get a perm? Do I want to straighten this shit out? I could. I could, but I don't give a fuck about it. Cut this shit off and throw a fucking wig on there. I don't give a fuck. But then y'all was clowning my wig. And I feel like when you know it's a wig, everybody knows it's a wig. You talking about I had that LaBall. What do you call it? LaBall something? I don't fucking know. Damn, dog, you got the mouthwash cup. I know that's right. <laughs> and then I'm looking at this damn, uh, this shit here, right? So I'm Googling, like, where the fuck does the black power fist come from? And the first thing I'm getting on Google is, damn, the Stalin red fist, right? So this is probably, like, they're saying this is communism, okay? That's what they're saying. So peace is... Peace and the black power fist is communism. I already know Black Lives Matter is a fucking scam, bro. I've been through that. I said that already. Let me find out you working and get bougie. Nah, I'm not. Never that. I'm down for these niggas. I'm down for my niggas, man. Always that. But I'm ready to start working. I'm about to be out there where the niggas got them Confederate flags and whatnot. Okay. Bitch, what the fuck that gotta do with you getting your package, bitch? Get that dog away from me. That's how I'm, that's how I fuck I'm feeling. It is what it is. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I might grow dreads. I think that's gonna be my next thing. But then it's just like, okay, well you have to retwist that shit, and then you could do like freeform locks. But then that shit look weird as hell. Got me looking like Jay Z in this bitch. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm so over this shit. I, I'm so over it. I'm over this little. This little dent in my forehead. I'm over that shit too. I remember when I used to get mad when I was angry. And I used to have like a vein go through my head. And I was just like damn I'm mad. <laughs> I'd be like damn I'm mad as fuck. Got this vein going through my head. I'm mad. And every all the adults looking at me like. Okay. Like bitch you mad so what? So what? What you gonna do? Okay. I'm just talking, talking, talking. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me put this this shit right here. Hold up. So you see this here? It's a nerd. What is this? Nerds. But in here, I have a whole bunch of cherry seeds. So I'm gonna throw these shits out in the yard. Okay. I gotta say, I hope you have a great first day at work. I can black out at any moment. Damn drunk. Don't do me like that, bro. And something I'm watching on a documentary is called uh, My Dear Vivian or something like that. And it has, like, Johnny Cash's first wife. That bitch is black as fuck, okay? I don't give a fuck they say. They can say Italian, Mexican, what the fuck they want to do. That bitch is black, okay? And then um, I'm watching that. Haven't got all the way through it, but it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? I'm trying to imagine in my head. Like, ooh, that's erotic, isn't it? Don't it make you want to lick your fucking fingers and touch your nipples, bitch? What the fuck am I talking about? Okay. Johnny Cash? Vivian? What's her name? Vivian something? I don't fucking know. It's on YouTube. I will drop the link. But just Google. No, just YouTube, my dear Vivian or something like that, okay? Also, side note, I am going to get on the PlayStation, okay? Anybody who's waiting on me to play the game. I'm getting on, all right. Y'all need a bootleg movie site, dope box. The SC. Shout out to my nigga. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga drunk. Can't send links so I had to type it like that. Okay, man, I used to be on all those kind of sites. Like, yo, let me check out these bootleg movies and shit, bro. Shout out to the bootleg movie sites. And you know something with what what is the main and the Netflix talking about? If you share passwords, bitch, you gotta pay. What? What if you got multiple houses in different places and you got a Netflix account? So now you gotta you gotta pay for different areas to be in that Netflix? Hell no, hell no, hell no. I'm not paying for it, man. So I don't know. I don't know about that. So that's I think that's one of the downfalls of Netflix. But then I'm thinking about uh that damn Titanic Explorer bullshit bitch. Like that shit went like that last one. 
That's how that shit went. Ain't nobody was alive for that shit. But that's scary as a motherfucking bitch. What the fuck? Like, they're talking about that shit. Okay, stop! Stop, hammer fucking time. Hammer time. Uh, let's see. First of all, they said they yeah. been lost lost uh communication with the mothership right yeah, yeah, and then yeah, this yeah. nigga james cameron the nigga who directed the titanic right he said he been knew that shit imploded he was emailing niggas like we lost some friends okay he been knew that shit since monday okay what the fuck is today <laughs> saturday he been new so what the fuck like that's my thing so like these niggas been smashed up, dead up, and they mad at the stepson of the nigga who founded this whole fucking submarine tour. They mad at him because Buzz said he go to a Blink 182 concert because it makes him feel better, okay? And they mad at him. Bitch, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? You know that shit. That shit is destroyed, bitch. It's destroyed. It's destroyed. And I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I, I don't wanna believe it. Cause I was holding out on hope for everybody else. Like, maybe they'll make it through. They talking about they heard loud banging noises and shit. What the fuck you hear? So niggas is fucking kicking the side of the submarine and shit. Them niggas got smashed the fuck up. Smash. They didn't even know they got smashed. I was stealing my ex Netflix shit. Say I'm not in the household now. Okay. Shit. That's the extra. That's the extra fee. But that, that motherfucking um, Titanic chick bitch you talking about, that's scary as hell, man. The fuck? Could you imagine? Like, that, that's me sitting in my room, and next thing I know, pop. But I wouldn't know, because it's that fast. And you know what? That's a humane way to go. That is a humane, to, that's a humane way to go. That's one of the best ways to go the fuck out of here. Because it's, it's quick. It's like when uh, we watched No Country for Old Men and that guy had that thing. Uh, Anton LaVey had that thing where he go to your head and it, it's like a cow. Whatever the fuck that shit get, and he just go like, pow. He catch you on the side of the road, pull you over in a fake cop car. He just say like, get out the car. Pow. That's it. But it's your whole body. And then I heard it's like your body turns into gelatin and then you just seep out of the fucking submarine and then that, and I guess the sharks and the 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 shrimps and shit eat you and shit like that. I don't know. Leave the Titanic alone. You remember that nigga Chris Crocker? He said leave Britney alone. Leave the Titanic alone. Leave it alone, bitch. Like that's how I feel about that shit. Leave it alone. Them niggas ghosts and shit. Ghosts. Leave them alone. Imagine sitting in a metal tube arguing, what, arguing a, a, a thousand feet underwater and suddenly y'all face smashed together. Fuck that. That's horrible. Can you imagine, like, when you headbutt somebody, but it's like a thousand times more pressure. You're in somebody's fucking brain. You can see their fucking... Like that. You fucked up. You fucked up. But you can't feel that shit. It's just so quick. You're just so fucking dead. So I do want to say my condolences to these niggas. Pay 250000 fucking dollars a ticket. God bless you. But my black ass wouldn't do it. And then like they talking about um, in the Titanic. There was one black passenger and he was married to a white bitch. Bitch what the fuck that matter? Why are you bringing up race in the fucking tragedy like that? Like what does it matter? What are you trying to tell me? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you be hearing some shit like oh this black guy is married to a white woman and da 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 What the fuck is you worried about it for? <laughs> like what? Like what? Like, people just so pressed about shit like the whole tragedy happened and you're so worried about who the fuck like is married to who? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, what? 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 That's just like, if the, if the Twin Towers fell and a black person died, you're like, oh, that nigga was married to a white woman. What the fuck that got to do with anything? You sound real insecure. Insecure. That's what it sound like, bitch. I don't get it. I swear. People just be mad over anything, and I'm so over it, and you know... I don't know. I was mad at Candace for a little bit. Candace Owens. But I was just like, you know what? Let her cook. Let her cook, okay? Because. Just let her cook, okay? But. I don't know. 
like people be thinking about some stupid shit like shit that don't even fucking matter like sometimes the worst shit can happen and they be talking about who the person is married to and shit what the fuck fuck that fuck do it matter Shout out to this pic though. I know this pic was made in China probably. And it was talking about Chinese niggas is eating rocks. What the fuck are you talking about? How can you eat a rock? But now that makes me want to eat my seafood. I ain't gonna lie. And you know seafood about to be fat because all them niggas that died in the submarine. Them shit's about to be fat. Let me stop. Oh God. <laughs> Let me stop nigga. But for real, for real, um, rest in peace to those niggas. Um, personally, I don't give a fuck how much money I got. I'm never going in a submarine. I'm not trying to be um, obtuse. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I don't give a fuck about what happened. I'm just telling you, personally, my black ass wouldn't be on that shit. And they're talking about a, a PlayStation controller was guiding that shit. And then somebody has said... This will happen when the PlayStation controller run out a battery. I'm like, really, nigga? But that's some real shit. It is. Damn, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I don't even wanna do it. But I'ma do it, bitch. And I'ma do it better than every fucking body because I have an ego. I don't drive and I'm Wow, look at this. You do drive. Got a big ego. Got a big ego. And it took me forever to know what that song meant. Talking about ego. Like, you got a big ego. He talking about, they talking about dicks, okay? They talking about schlongs. They talking about ballparks, okay? That's what they're talking about. And I was just like, oh, okay. So now you know if you didn't know. So, but, but you know, we, gonna, we coming along with this. I did my lawn. I got my cherry seeds in this little bag here. Oh, I'm spilling them out. Got my cherry seeds in this bag. We're going to grow those. I got some grapes, but the grapes don't have any seeds. So what the fuck? How am I supposed to grow them seeds? Shout out to Monsanto. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Fuck you, bitches. Fuck Monsanto, okay? Fuck um the vaccinated motherfuckers. Fuck them vaccines, bitch. And um, how I feel about the vaccine, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because they talking about, oh, if you don't have these certain amount of vaccines for your kid, you can't take the kid out of the hospital after you give birth to some shit. Fuck you, bitch. i probably go stay home. I'm probably going to stay home. That's what my plan is. I'll stay home and just give birth to my child and hope for the best, bitch. I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to get a whole jacuzzi. And I'm just going to be like, okay, let's do this. Hopefully, you know, I don't know. We always plan for the best, but sometimes the worst happens. I don't know, but I do. I don't want to get my kid vaccinated. And then they're talking about foreskins are made into lotions. Look it up, bitch. Look it up. Look it up. They said little kid foreskins, like when you have your little boy and then like their little foreskin gets cut off, they make it into lotion or some shit, bitch. What? What? I guess it's because of the stem cells in that motherfucker. I don't know. But I don't want my kids' uh, crotch skins turn into a lotion. I don't want that. I don't want that. So, I don't know. What the fuck? You said get birth in a pot of ramen. I don't know, man. Because <laughs> you ever heard, like, people be eating placenta and shit. I don't know. They do be making lotion. And then uh, Steve Harvey was like, you brought your ass on my show. And <laughs> you brought your ass on my show, and you know damn well this this lotion made out of foreskin. The girl was just like, "Yeah, this is made out of foreskin." I'm like, he said, "This is the last time you on my motherfucking show, bitch." I feel that. I hope she felt that because that nigga wasn't joking, bitch. Kid foreskins, and you making a lotion out of it, and you want me to use the lotion on national fucking te television, bitch? You never be back on the Steve Harvey show, bitch. Never, never, never. That should have been a disclaimer, and that's kind of dirty too. Like to be like, oh, let's try on some products. Like that's me, like having this show here. Like if this was a show, like nationally, 
And then a motherfucker just come on here and just be like, try this lotion. And I'm over here rubbing this lotion and they're talking about, oh, it's made out of uh, foreskins. I'm just like, the fuck? On the side, Steve says, send me a couple bottles. Hell nah. I don't see Steve doing that, man. Maybe. I don't know. But Steve be fly as a motherfucker. Steve is a fly motherfucker, man. Um, They call his wife Lady Heron, allegedly. <laughs> Because, like, she used to be involved with a Heron Kingpin, Miss Majorie Harvey. Shout out to her. Um, as you know, her daughter, Lori Harvey, used to be going out with uh, Michael B. Jordan and all that. But, you know, speaking of Michael B. Jordan, we're going to segue into Idris Elba. Was Idris Elba supposed to be the first black 007? What the fuck happened to that? I was looking forward to that. First black 007? What? That would have been cool. I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't make me or break me. The fuck? But, um, yeah, that's something interesting. That's very interesting. I really had to pee, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had to pee. Enemy down. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Drunk, take it away for a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, it's 10.08 p.m. This is No Self Podcast. Who gives a fuck what number the fuck it is? It's a whole bunch. And if you're using Not to Self as a username, <laughs> no Tito Shade. If you're using Not to Self as a motherfucking episode number, fuck you, bitch. I'm about to fucking copyright that motherfucker. That's how I feel about it. I should have been copyright Not to Self Podcast. I should have done that. But you know what? You know to your motherfucking self, bitch. Because the real ones know what the fuck the No Soap Podcast is. But anyway, today is June 24, 2023. This is your girl, Zayna Bunny, your favorite rabbit, and I am here. And Bean is in the background talking about bullshit on his video games. But, um, yeah. Basically, basically, that's what we're talking about. So, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. So, I mean, it's a very... I don't know what to call an ending like that with that submarine. Like, that's basically how it was. You know, now it's kind of shaping my spirituality in a sense. <laughs> it's shaping my spirituality as a sense. Because I'm thinking, like, okay, like, when you think about Dante's Inferno, uh, you think about, oh, like, the farther away you are from God, you're cold, right? So I'm thinking, like, okay, the deeper you are in the sea. Right here, right here. Uh, 95 on the wall. 95 on the wall. Close. The deeper you are in the sea, maybe yeah. that's hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe the water is the underworld at a certain point. Right so, me. like, I'm thinking, like, right okay. You know, it just makes me think. Because, you know, you but no one's really have gotten to the bottom of the sea. And then, like, they're saying, like, the deeper you go with the fish down there and stuff... Like, uh, if you bring a fish from deep, deep, deep below and you bring it to the surface, they turn into nothing. They turn into, they just degenerate. They turn into gel, dust, whatever the fuck. They just act like they don't exist anymore. So that's crazy to me. Like, I feel like the bottom of the sea could be hell. And that's, your father's away from the sun. Not meaning like Jesus, the sun, or whatever the fuck. But your father away from the sun, you're cold. You know, like, 
the underworld. The deep ocean is the underworld. That's what I'm starting to think. And it makes sense to me. Like, could you imagine just be... Could you imagine just being deep, deep down in the ocean like that? You know, you have nobody to call on. Uh, and then it's like, as soon as your equipment gets out, gives out, you just squish. Like, I can't. And shout out to Arthur's Deep Sea Adventure. I played as a kid on the computer. That was the scariest game, computer game I probably played as a kid. Shit. That shit was scary. I don't give a fuck. That shit was scary as hell. Talking about the Mediterranean. I don't give a fuck what sea he was diving in. That shit was scary as hell. And I wasn't getting in that water. So shout out to Arthur's Deep Sea Adventure. I would download that right now. And then there's another game called uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, Some cooking with Mickey Mouse shit. That shit I enjoyed. Or making them pancakes and shit. Minnie Mouse, shout out to her. She a ride or die. But then one thing I'm really thinking about is Toontown. And then it made me segue. Like, Disney had a hole on niggas. Like, I was definitely a Disney kid. And then, like, Bean gives me hell. Deadweight gives me hell about being a Disney kid. But Disney had a hole on bitches back then. Like, we had dolls. We had cartoons. We had live action. We had everything. Disney? The fuck? We even had, like, before you go to bed, we had Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We had Disney XD. Shout out to Disney, man. Cartoon Network, it was all right. But then again, you had, a cart- uh, you had um, what do you call that shit? Adult Swim. And then the adults could always put uh, the child lock on that motherfucker. So as soon as Family Guy came on at, like, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, Cartoon Network was locked out. So... Shout out to um Disney. What the fuck? What the fuck? But yeah, I feel like a dick because I'm not really answering you niggas. Like y'all niggas is calling me and leaving voicemails and shit. I'm not answering that shit, cuz. I'm not. I don't want to talk about nothing. There's nothing I want to talk about in this world. At this point. Everything is delusion and illusion, nigga. What the fuck is you really talking about? Can we talk about current events? Can we talk about something? I don't want to talk about no bullshit, man. I don't. But that's that on that. I don't know what else to say. Pass the jewel. I'm on live. Can you just pass it? Can you just buy one? Buy me one. Well, you gonna buy one this twenty? I thought you had to pee. Wait on you. Hello. I was born by the river. You're getting a tan. I was born by the river, baby. No, you wasn't. You was born in a hospital, nigga. And raised in a trailer park. Anyways. Um, so I don't know what the fuck else to do. I feel like I feel like downloading Jeopardy if they had it, but I wouldn't pay for that shit. What else? I think that's it. I don't know what else to talk about. That's pretty much what's going on. The Titanic. RFK Jr., I might vote for you, bro. Like, if you keep campaigning and you keep going on these podcasts and making your voice more familiar. And I was talking about the uh, Tinfoil Hat podcast. We talked about that, and we said he kind of fell off. But, I mean, like, Eddie Bravo has his own podcast now, and I've been waiting on that. So, that's on there. So, shout out to Eddie Bravo if you like any... uh, if you like any uh conspiracy theory shit, shout out to Eddie Bravo, that's my nigga. And it's crazy because like um Alex Jones was talking about there's dumping chemicals in the water that made frogs gay, right? And then like niggas is talking about oh the, now they're talking about oh shit they put in the water is making frogs change their genders and shit like that. Doesn't that make you think? Doesn't that make you think? I swear they've been talking about this shit for the last ten years. 
I need some damn water. I don't think I'm gonna take another shot though. But what the fuck is gonna happen to um Alex Jones? They done ruined the man's livelihood. They ruined the man's reputation. Now what? So what do you do? And that's kind of sad. Like, I don't know. But, like, this whole debate I've been having with being about the whole uh, OKC shit and uh, the bombings and bullshit like that. Like, it's, it's just weird. Like, we're never going to see eye to eye on, like, what the fuck that situation was. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? But, like... I don't know. Like, it just doesn't seem right to me. Still, I'm going to say that still. Like, it just doesn't seem right to me. And then the, something else that doesn't seem right to me is to feel proud of your nation. And then you automatically branded as, like, a Nazi or something like that. So it's just, like, it's wrong to, like, have an American flag and shit like that. You know, it just feels it just feels wrong to feel patriotic. So patriot patriotism is automatically assumed as like uh, Nazism or some shit like that. Why every other country can be proud of their nation, but America can't? That doesn't seem right to me. And shout out to McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know why. Pretty much because uh, Trump was. Uh, Having banquets of fucking McDonald's. Shout out to the McDonald's though. And I need to try that damn uh what's that nigga name? Why I be calling you babe? What's that purple nigga? Who? Barney? No, the purple nigga from McDonald's. Grimace. Yeah, I be calling Bean Grimace. What the I want that uh, Grimace milkshake. They say it's berry mixed with vanilla or some okay. shit like that. I am about to check that out before that's gone. But I've been really been enjoying uh the Grimace uh, theme, Big Mac meal and shit. Actually, they closed at 11 o'clock. I might get me a Big Mac. I ain't gonna lie. No, I'm not, because I had some shots. I don't drink and drive. That's the worst thing you can do, though. That's one thing I won't do. Like, I'll be fucking uh, rude as fuck. I'll be mean as fuck, but I don't think I'm gonna drink and drive. I can't do it. That's really careless. And, um... That's that's the worst thing you can do. People just minding their business, driving, trying to get home, be safe, and a motherfucker just run the fuck over them. That's fucked up. And um, what's what's also sad to me is like the homeless people here. I I've said it about I said it before, but like um, there's was a homeless there's homeless people around here, and then they'll have like the little hospital tag. But you know damn well they need to be in the hospital a little bit more than that. But they just Take them and release them because they know that they can't afford the treatment or something like that. And that's fucked up to me. Like, treat these people. Why are you worried about how how they're going to pay and shit? Most people can't pay for the bullshit you're doing. And I remember when I went in the psych ward and they were telling me, oh, you can pay through this program. And next thing I know, like, I have this big ass bill. And they're talking about you can do monthly payments and shit like that. I'm just like, bitch, I can't afford that shit. So we did five dollars a fucking month on a ten dollar, uh, two thousand dollar bill. Fuck you. That's what we gonna do. If you offered it, shit. Talking about advertising like it was free, but sh shout out to those niggas. I really hope that the American people can get back on a better foot. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Hunter Biden and all that shit. Like, I'll just, con like, I don't know. Cons I can't even call it a conspiracy anymore. Something's really fishy about that shit, but I don't think it's going to make or break the fucking um, elections or whatever the fuck. Like, I don't think Biden is getting back in. I'm not supposed to be talking about politics and shit like this anyway because it'll work, but it's just something to think about. Like, what the fuck is really going on and... I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like if Trump runs, it's going to be Trump versus RFK Jr. And if not, if Trump doesn't run, I think RFK got it. What's up, Rare? I'm about to get on a little bit to play in a minute. In about five minutes, I think I'm going to get on and play. Um, but I can't stay too long. Thank you. Uh... 
But that's something to think about. So you guys look at oh, 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 and they were saying like the submarine was a distraction for the Hunter Biden files and shit like that. So it makes sense to me, but it is what it is. Um, this alien distractions, I don't know what they're getting from that. Is that also a distraction? I don't know. Everything's a fucking distraction these days. Excuse my language. But, um, it is what it is. Keep focused. Do you. At the end of the day, you have to live for you. So don't stop living for you, okay? No matter what, what happens in the media, whatever happens, uh, you know, in your life that is a distraction just make sure you focus on you because that's what matters at the end of the day you die alone okay i i think i got that from uh jimmy hendrix his whole situation where he got uh he got a uh, suicided or whatever the fuck it was deleted and um you die alone you're born into this world alone you die alone so keep that in mind also, I wanted to follow up with the case with Kai the Hitchhiker. Um, Kai the Hitchhiker, like, he was just like, this guy was attacking some girl with an axe or yeah, something yeah. like that. He was attacking this girl, and then, like, Kai grabbed the axe, and he attacked the hey, girl. Shoot me for once. I do have Call of Duty 2.0, if that's what you want to play. <laughs> but I'm, no, I'm not very good at that. They're still shooting us. But anyways, um, pull off the road. I wonder what's gonna happen to him because, like, this is pull like pre Me Too era when that shit happened to him, and it's kind of sad. So I don't know what's the truth. I think he's gonna end up being in jail forever. I don't know, but it is what it is. I still want to know what happened to that band, uh, Alabama Shakes. I think the the girl who was singing in that band, she just went to a whole nother band. But shout out to them. They're good music. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I really should make some dinner right now. I'm thinking about uh, some vegetarian burgers with some cheese on it. That sounds good right now. I don't know. That's all I'm thinking of. So as we're at 57 minutes with this podcast, I guess I'm going to see you guys out. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow as always lately and I'm I'm really proud of myself for being consistent with this. I will give myself a pat on the back with this consistency. That's all I can say. Um every day is something else. Every day is some news. Uh everything something something's always going on. But I'm definitely gonna update you on how my first day of work goes and I'm going to be on it, and I can't stay on the game for too long, so I guess uh, maybe I'll just make these burgers, and then I'll get on. I don't know, but I got to get to bed early, and I just want to lead out with a little bit of prayer, so that's it. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'm going to thank my moderator, Drunk, for coming in. Thank you, Rare, for dropping in. Thank you, we had another guest in here, Addison. Thank you for dropping in. Um, but thank you, God, the creator, whatever you want to call yourself. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for ma- letting my friends come on and leaving a comment. People I don't know who will soon be my friends coming in. Bless them. Make everybody be happy. Make every make some peace be around. I also heard there was a coop in Russia or something like that. That's crazy. Um, I don't know what the hell is going to happen with that. I don't know if this is planned. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what's going on in the world today. But I wish for peace. I wish for protection on everybody. I wish everybody's happy. I wish everybody has good health. I hope everybody has good luck, good jobs. I hope everybody has shelter. I hope every animal, I hope every plant can grow and be healthy. And um, I hope there's less pollution in this world. I hope the polar bears out there in the Arctic to have something to crawl onto instead of melted ice, which is fucked up. Um, I hope, I hope for the best. I hope that everything that's fucked up comes to light and is resolved in a positive manner. Um, I hope that everything is good. That's all I can hope for. I just hope for peace tomorrow. No drama. I hope that Bean learns how to drive. I hope that uh, 
I hope everything good. That's all I can say. I just I just can't uh be negative right now. I hope the people that were reaching out to me find a solution to whatever the fuck you was trying to get out of me or whatever the fuck. I don't mean any negativity or nothing like that, but I don't want no negativity in my life and I hope no negativity for the people watching or listening or nothing like that. So and with that I'm out of here. Recycle if you can, please recycle. I got my cherry seeds in here in my candy bag. Whatever fruit you eat, please recycle. Uh, if you have any seeds, throw them out in the yard. Um, any invasive plants, please cut them down. Uh, if you see any elder, elderly, homeless people, please help them out. And I mean separate or or together. If you see any elderly people, see what you can do for them. If you see any homeless people, see what you can do for them. But uh, by no means get yourself hurt. Two of them, they got me. Um, save water when you brush your teeth. All of that. So I'm out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not going to drag it out. And that's it. Adios. Adios. That's all you got to say. Alright, peace out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next podcast. Love you guys. This is Zayna Bunny on the Note to Self podcast, episode whatever the fuck, and today is June 24, 2023. God bless you, and...